Hi, I'm Sean Osborne, Managing Director and Chief Currency Strategist at Scotiabank. From the middle of April through the middle of May, the US dollar rose nearly 5% against its major currency peers. But is this the beginning of a sustained rally for the dollar or a short-term spike within a cyclical downward trend? Let's take a look at the data. The US dollar weakened sharply in late 2017 and spent much of the first quarter consolidating against its major currency peers before strengthening abruptly over the past month all despite little real change in underlying fundamentals. Global economic trends remain constructive, and the theme of global economic convergence, which we expect to drive investors away from the US dollar and into other currencies, remains intact. Data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission provides a weekly snapshot of speculative market positioning, and these reports have recently shown that market participants are holding the biggest bearish bet on the US dollar since 2011. The value in these data points is at extreme moments like this, when either long or short positions start to look excessive, leaving the market vulnerable to a squeeze or reversal. Dollar short covering leaves the market more balanced now and will allow investors to refocus on bearish dollar fundamentals. We believe the recent US dollar rebound was prompted by investors deciding to cover or close out some of the significant short positions that have accumulated over the past few months when bearish sentiment was strengthening. Since the 1970s, the dollar has typically moved in alternating cycles of strength and weakness, which last around eight years on average. The dollar rallied steadily between 2009 and 2017 as the US economy recovered from the financial crisis, but that trend peaked and reversed in 2017 in a manner which strongly suggests to us that the currency is still respecting the rough eight-year cycle. We view broader risks for the US dollar as being tilted to the downside over the medium term as a consequence. Our forecast remains for the US dollar to weaken against most of its major currency peers in 2018 due to widening US fiscal and current account deficits. We also expect that currencies like the euro and Canadian dollar will benefit from improving growth trends and rising interest rates in their own economies, boosting their performance against the US currency. You can find more in-depth US dollar and global currency analysis on our website, and you can also follow us on Twitter at ScotiabankGBM and at ScotiabankFX. I'm Sean Osborne. Thanks for watching.